everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have seven different boxes to share with you all, plus a giveaway. This week, I have two different Stranger's Guide boxes. I have the Silver Swag Box, the Simply Earth Box, the Go Jewelry Manifestation Box and Mother Earth Wrap Club, and the Journal Junk Box. And then, like I said, I do have a giveaway in this video. I will put details at the end of the video. However, I do have to preface this by saying that please beware of scammers. This happens every time I have a giveaway and when I don't have a giveaway. There are people in the comments pretending to be me or messaging people and saying that they won. The only way that I will contact the winner is I will email them via my subbox lover at yahoo.com email address. More details in the end of the video, but if anybody's commenting or messaging you saying that you've won, no, I have to email you for that to happen, so just please beware. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina, and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. And on Sundays, I like to unbox multiple at once so you can see them all in one video. So if you like these Sunday videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future upload. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today, unboxing these boxes. Actually, before we get into the boxes, I have a couple little things. So the lipstick that I'm wearing is from Merit Beauty. <sighs> Look how stunning that is. So I'll leave a link down below um, in case you like the lipstick and want to try it. I know people sometimes like ask what my lipstick is or whatever. I do always put my makeup down below, um, but I'll put like an extra link for Merit Beauty. I think I shared this a couple subscription box Sunday videos ago, but I just really love it. It's so comfortable and so pretty. So I'm giving it a shout out. Mine is in the shade Baby, but they do also have other shades as well if you're looking for a new really pretty lipstick. Then in last week's video, I talked about Skin Store in my subscription box Sunday, and I mentioned that I was getting another um, like face wash that hadn't come in yet. It's in now, so I got the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I figured I'd share it with you. Um, I d This was sent to me free for review, and I do have like a discount code that can be used. I'll leave it down below. You can get 25% off anything that's on a specific link and then 10% off all sales. So I'll put those links down below in case you're interested in ma making a skin store purchase, but they have so many good brands. I, and I love, I love this cleanser. I've used it before. They even have like my Real Technique sponges where you can get great deals and stuff. And this is what this cleanser looks like. First of all, it's super pretty in a pump bottle. I use three to four different types of cleansers all at once, but for different things. So I love having an oil cleanser for when I remove my makeup. So like when I'm done filming and I take it off, I do an oil cleanser first and then a second cleanser, I do a double cleanse. And I always use an oil cleanser for when I take off my makeup. So super duper excited to have this to use. I'm using another oil-based cleanser right now, but that when that one runs out, then I have this here. So if you're looking to upgrade your skincare routine or they also have hair care and lots of other like beauty products out there. So if you just want to check it out, I highly recommend it. They have tons of great brands all on one site to check out. Um, so I'll put all that information down below. And if you missed last week's subscription box Sunday, I had like a more of a haul where I had like five or six different things that I shared that I got from them, um, but this was one it shipped separately from them. So here it is. All right, so up first, I'm gonna unbox both of the Stranger's Guide boxes. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Stranger's Guide, they have a like travel type publication, which is a really, really nice publication. Now, there are different ways to subscribe to the publication, but then they also have a subscription box. So I'm gonna be unboxing two of their quarterly boxes today. Now, you can do a digital option where you can just read their guide online. There's also the print and digital option, um, which is like $75 a year to do that one. And then there's a print and digital plus, which is $165 a year where you get guides, welcome gifts, special newsletters, discounts, all that kind of stuff. And what I'm unboxing today is different. It's their fellow travelers club. Now this is $350 a year where you would get four boxes and it's for people with a sense of global curiosity. And I am one of those people, y'all know that. So it helps support journalists around the world. And also you get to receive new ways to explore, um, events, opportunities, and you get this box, which is awesome. So the box comes with their latest guide printed and it's very nice quality. And then you get internationally curated foods and like household goods, um, the type of things that you would only stumble across as you're exploring little stores in 
countries on the local pharmacy like this is not something that's like easy to come by like this you'd have to be in the country in a small store to find these things which I think is really really awesome there's lots of other benefits that you get besides the box so you get the four boxes um, you get two additional print guides of your choosing um, as a welcome gift um, and then each year on the anniversary of your premium fellow travels club membership um, you concierge stranger guide service which connects you directly to their staff if you want to travel and things like that um, you get early RSVP for their events um, discount on their any of their public events there's also a, a membership in an El Camino travels clubhouse where you get a discount on a trip plan my parents want to do the El Camino really badly so they'd probably love that um, and then membership to tablet plus which is a service that allows you to enhance your hoteling experience as you travel the world so if you are into traveling or you want to explore new and different cultures this is the box for you it is a little bit pricey but I do feel like you're getting quality product for it so let's dive in they sent me two boxes so they sent their most recent box which was the March 2023 box but they also sent me the December 2022 box the box before that so we're gonna dive into the December 2022 box first which I believe is like a toiletries like themed box all right when you open it up this is what it looks like so you get some paperwork attached to the booklet and then your goodies inside okay so it talks a little bit more about the perks and partners about tablet hotels El, El Camino Traveler and Strangers Guide um so it gives you kind of the information on the subscription, which I just kind of went through. Paper's very nice. Then you also get a welcome letter, which I think is really nice. It says, you've just joined the group that celebrates global citizenship and global storytelling. Your membership directly supports journalists around the world and gives you access to events, items, and perks carefully curated for cosmopolitan sophisticates like yourself. Now, a little bit more about the guide. I think that'll be important is that each of their guides focuses on a single place and more than 80% of the stories we, we publish are from local writers and photographers, including world-renowned authors and up-and-coming voices, which you basically help get to support those through this, and I think that's so amazing. Now, there is a little thing that goes over everything that's inside of the box, but before we get into that, we'll start with the guide itself. Look how beautiful this is. It's like a magazine, but it's like nicer. I mean, like, it's like got a nice thick cover. I mean, this is like some, this is something I'd want to put like on my coffee table. It's almost like a book, basically. It feels like a soft cover book. So the December one was the Ukraine that was and the one that will be, which I think is so relevant with what's going on in the world. Um, and then it talks a little bit about the guide. So in this guide, you learn about Ukrainian art from Allied's Aid to Art program, Anastasia Stenko's diary of a journalist covering war, Natalia uh, Gumenyuk on life in Ukrainian women prisons, uh, photo essays from Alexander Technisky. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher these names. Vasilyana Vrubleska and Misha Friedman. Um, then you get some information on post-Soviet hipsters in Ukraine's rave culture. And then Vladimir um, talks a little bit more about writing in Ukrainian. So you just get to learn so much. And there's really a beautiful photography inside and you just get to learn so much and I feel like this is just so relevant and I want to learn more and I mean it's like a nice mag like this is really really nice stuff you get really cool photography I mean like oh, look at that I think this is so awesome and this is a great way to learn more I personally like I've always been drawn to learning more about different cultures growing up in the US but having half my family be in Germany. I went to a special school that was like a language immersion school where like I didn't really learn English until the third grade even though I was in the US and there were students of other cultures and countries learning other languages like French and Chinese and other languages growing up with me and I just I really love learning about different cultures so um, I am really really excited to read more about this guide but I also know that all of us here are subscription box lovers so y'all want to know what's actually in this box just besides the guide so let's dive in. Oh the very first thing that I'm pulling out is this here. Here. This is England's pink toothpaste. I guess this is a bright pink toothpaste. This is Euthamol original toothpaste. Oh wow. It has a special blend of anti-plaque ingredients and essential flavor oils that help keep your teeth and gums clean and healthy. And it has the distinctive strong taste of euthamol. I have no idea what that is. Um, so this has been around since the 19th century. Its name references the eucalyptus and thymol derived from thyme. That gives it a somewhat herbal flavor and makes it naturally antiseptic. It's available in the UK, although it can be a challenge to find. And in 2013, euthamol was briefly discontinued, causing a 
a run on the product by devotees. Oh, very cool. Like I said, the stuff that you're getting in here is hard to find, hence why there is a price point, but you're also, the price point is also the way it is because you're helping support all these journalists as well, and you get a really nice thing to go with it. So, very cool. Uh, we'll have to try that out. Okay, up next we have a little towel, which is interesting. It's like a I'm gonna guess maybe exfoliating. This is from South Korea. This is South Korea's Italy, in quotation marks, towel. Um, so there's really nothing Italian about this towel except that its fabric is a semi-synthetic type of rayon that was originally sourced from Italy. Instead, it's a ubiquitous part of South Korean spas where the somewhat abrasive fabric is perfect for exfoliating, I guessed it, <laughs> um, and giving you extraordinary soft skin. So you can hop in the shower and wait five minutes so your skin can soften, then pop them in over your hand and use vigorous strokes up and down, no circles. I was, I was doing circles, up and down, okay. Um, and you'll merge with um, baby's skin to dream of. Um, you can use this weekly, and since these are made of viscose, you can pop them in the laundry with your towels once you're done and then reuse them. Oh, very cool. <gasps> oh, I like it. I like it. It's really fun. Okay, up next, you get a little packet of something different. This is very interesting. This is Mexico's Ideal Antacid. Oh, okay, so this is Pico de excuse me, pico sal de uvas. <laughs> I only speak German, so <laughs> I'm gonna butcher everything else. Puts Alka-Seltzer to shame. This is a fizzy, salty, sour antacid made in Mexico and is a powerful tool against everything from a rough hangover to chronic IBS. And unlike Alka-Seltzer, pico doesn't contain aspirin, which can sometimes upset the stomach. Very, very cool. It does have English on it, so just in case you're worried, it does put that there. Okay, that's a very, very interesting thing to get in a subscription box. I don't think I've ever gotten an antacid in a subscription box, but like, I'm not mad about it. Ooh, and then up next, we have this here. This is Spain's Black Soap. So Magno Soap has been a favorite of Jet Setter since its debut in the 1950s. It's made on the island of La Toya, or La Toja, in northwestern Spain. Uh, the black soap creates a luxurious white lather, even in seawater. The lanolin and glycerin soap makes use of the nearby water's salts and minerals, including iron, iodine, and sulfur, and is said to have the same health benefits. Um, we just know that soap looks gorgeous and smells decadent. Okay, well, we have to take a peek, because I guess it's going to be like a black soap. Ooh, it does smell nice. So this is what it looks like. It's a black soap. I mean, it smells like a bar of soap, maybe a little bit spicier, but it just smells like a traditional kind of nice bar of soap. Very, very cool. And then not listed on here, but you also get a little toiletry bag from Stranger's Guide, which is really cute. It's actually very nicely made. So when you're traveling, you can take these little things with you. And those are all the products inside. I love that the box features things that you cannot get easily. I think that just adds to it. Um, and I think it's really fun to be able to try like different toiletry products from around the world. We don't really have a lot of boxes that do that. Now again, a different theme. So the next theme will not be this, but this was the December theme with toiletries. And I thought it was really fun. And I love the descriptions that they give of it. You get to learn so much. Okay, up next, let's dive into the March 2023 box. So the most recent box. Um, this was like a global pantry theme. So when you open it up, that's what it looks like. So on top, you do get a little note from them. Then you also get a little card that goes over everything that's in the box and it gives you recipes. So I'm excited to see that since this is like a pantry food theme. All right, I'll read a little bit from the note. It says, dear fellow travelers, we decided to adopt a new catchphrase for our FTC program. Wet your appetite for the world. Throughout our guides, our boxes, and our newsletters, events, our goals is always to be to build curiosity and a sense of engagement with cultures, people, and ideas around the globe. We don't aim to offer a complete picture, but instead offer a window into other places. And this latest box is full of such windows. Inside, you'll find a series of foodstuffs that represents the beginning of a global pantry, including, oh, I'm not gonna say, never mind, it gets into this stuff. Um, and then it also talks about how this is dedicated to this month's guide. So, this month's guide, is, or this quarter's guide, is the rainforest, the river, the Amazon. Again, these are really, really pretty. Uh, and the back, it tells you like what's inside. So this is the, uh, I won't read all the names, but it says you get indigenous futurism, a world of possibility, um, unexpected beauty of birding. There's a diary from an Amazon river boat with some additional photography. Uh, Colombia's unfinished road into the rainforest. Who listens when indigenous people speak? And then Bolsonaro and the six laws of jungle warfare. So some interesting themes inside. Again, the photography like inside and just, you get to learn so much. Like these are really 
really nice and I cannot wait to learn more. I can't wait to read both of these. Like, ah, uh, they're so fun looking. I'm like looking on the back at like the past guides and I'm like, do I need to go buy some of those? Cause they go over some really cool places that I want to learn more about. So really, really excited. All right, so a little sneak peek so you can maybe guess what we get. So one of the recipes is Kasango goulash. Oh, I love goulash. Um, and then there's a spicy Sega Tibbs, which is like a Berber type of meal. Ooh, okay. Uh, I love this. And I'm guessing the goulash is going to be Hungarian because I love Hungarian goulash. And then you do get a little card like with a picture and an explanation on the back. There was one in the other box. I think I forgot to show it, but it's really, really fun. And I think this is just a really fun picture. Okay, the first thing out is this, and I'm so excited. This is Hungary's paprika paste, um, which... Oh, if you're gonna do a goulash, you've got to get the Hungarian paprika because it just makes such a big difference. Um, so paprika is the sacrosanct spice in Hungary. There are eight different Hungarian varieties of the spice ranging from mild to pungent to spicy. While the US Hungarian paprika, in quotes, uh, we normally refer to as the sweeter version, um, Hungarians use paprika in numerous ways, including the universe paprika paste, which is what we have here. Um, this is the hot paprika variety, but you can also explore other paprika pastes that are sweeter and milder. Whatever your preference, try your hand at goulash, which is their national dish, and they do um, have that here, or you can spread it on a sandwich. Oh, I love goulash, and I think I'm gonna be goulash. I think they pronounce it differently, but I'm really excited because I love a good goulash, and oh, this is like authentically from there, not easy to get, and I love that you're getting like these hard to get items in this box. Ooh, okay, up next we get this little thing here. This is a Japan's mayo packet. So mayonnaise may sometimes be subject fraught with controversy, but Japan's QP mayonnaise inspires a whole new lover of devotion. This is a favorite among chefs around the world, and QP is distinct for using only egg yolk instead of the whole egg, and including a blend of vinegars, which together give the condiment a deeper umami taste. In Japan, this is the go-to mayonnaise for almost any meal from popular street food items, such as uh, takoyaki and karagi, I'm not familiar with that one, which is a Japanese um, style fried chicken to home cooked meals. Um, this was created in 1925, um, and this was created with the hope to improve the physique of Japanese people. Ooh, I'm excited. This is really, really cool. Ooh, okay, up next we have some like Berber spices here, which I'm really excited. Um, so this is Ethiopia and Eritrea's spice blend. Berber is an Ethiopian and Eritrean spice blend that includes a plethora of ingredients, typically including Besobella, which is an Ethiopian sacred basil seeds, chili peppers, black cardamom, ginger, garlic, fenugreek, and much more. This blend is essential to the Ethiopian and Eritrean cuisine and is a key ingredient in their kitchens, though each blend may vary slightly in terms of ingredients and spice level and is used in many traditional dishes. So they give you a recipe on the back, which is so fun. Ooh, oh, this looks good. Up next, we have this here. These are Senegal's candied peanuts from Eat Off Beat. Um, these are Senegalese spiced peanuts that come to us from Chef Marie... Mariama, Mariama, I can't see it, um, via Eat Off Beat. Born and raised in Dakar, um, Chef Mariama started to learn how to cook from her mother when she was nine. Her candied peanuts are a perfect afternoon snack after your next dinner party. <gasps> Yum! So that is everything in both of these strangers guide boxes. So if you're somebody who loves to learn about traveling and culture and you want fun and unique items that you can't get anywhere else, the subscription box is for you. I think I forgot to mention at the beginning, and I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, that I do have a 15% off coupon code down below. So if you're interested in signing up, I do have that 15% off for you. And these boxes were sent to me free for review. In fact, I think everything here today was, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this box down below. All right, up next, let's jump into the silver swag box for April. If you're unfamiliar with the silver swag box, this is what I would consider like a monthly lifestyle box because it comes with all sorts of different items inside. Now this is a subscription for adults and seniors, but I think that really anybody would like it. I mean, I guess I am an adult. I'm on the lower end of adult, but I am an adult. Um, and this helps busy families send love and stay connected. So this is something that you could send to family members that live further away, or it's a treat yourself box as well. Um, but also again, works well as kind of like that kind of like treat to a family member or to a friend. So inside you get things like household items, home gadgets, activities, personal care items, conversation cards and more. The box is 
$49.99 a month. And I do have a really awesome coupon code where you can get $15 off of your very first box if you're interested in signing up. So I'll leave that down in the description box below. When you open it up, that's what it looks like. It says, hello, April. Oh my gosh, this looks so fun. <gasps> the theme is Taco Tuesday and it looks really fun inside. So you get two cards. One of them has the kind of like conversation starter questions on it. So these are great things to kind of discuss with family and things like that to get to know people better. So a couple questions on here, soft shell tacos or crunchy shell tacos? Let me know down below. Refried beans or black beans? Um, and so it talks about, there's some other questions to format it differently. I love these. These are really good, like icebreaker questions. Like if you have like a corporate job or like whatever, where you do icebreakers, like these can be really fun to use as those, or you can just stay connected with loved ones that way. And then the other card does go over everything that's inside the box. Well, the first thing on top is a cute little taco. It says live every day. Like it's taco Tuesday. Um, this is from Kaluna stickers and this is a weatherproof and dishwasher safe vinyl sticker. So if you're somebody who likes to like put stickers on mugs and stuff, this would be perfect for it. So a cute little taco sticker. Okay. Up next we have something from Davis and Davis. This is a weeknight cheesy taco skillet kit, but I think there's pasta in it. Wait, what? Okay. Um, so it says have taco Tuesday night, any night of the week with this one skillet and add a few additional ingredients and have it ready in less than 30 minutes. Wait, is this a pasta dish? <gasps> Ooh, I like taco pasta. Okay. Um, so you need one pound of cooked and drained ground meat, which can be chicken, turkey, or Italian sausage. You need chicken stock, tomato sauce, and shredded cheddar cheese. This definitely has like little shell noodles inside. So it's like a kind of like taco pasta. Ooh, that sounds really, really good. Uh, Yum. Okay. I love that. Or maybe it's like a taco mac and cheese. I don't even know. I I'm really into this. I love that you get kind of like a meal kit and a, I love getting meal kits and it looks really good. Like I said, just have that little peek through window there. It's ready in 30 minutes, which is a great amount of time for a weeknight dinner. So very, very fun. There's a couple random candies inside, which have like little like sayings on them. I think these might be mints, like breath mints or something. It doesn't list them on here, but it says fiesta like there's no manana and chip and dip in and margarita sip them. <laughs> really cute. Ooh. <gasps> okay, next up we have something from Hammond's and these are their cinnamon churro marshmallows. This sounds delicious. I feel like these could be really good in a hot, on a hot chocolate or in a um, like, um, the thing with the graham crackers, s'mores, or just eat them straight out of the bag, to be honest, because those look really good and they feel like really fluffy in the bag. <gasps> mm, these are gonna be like some nice gourmet type, um, Marshmallows here. Yum. And then up next, there's a cute little plush. that says it's taco Tuesday. Oh, excuse me. It's Tuesday somewhere. Oh, it's really cute. Um, so it says, let's talk about how cute this plushie is reminding us that delicious tacos are never too far away. Oh, it's nice. It has those little beads in it too. It's from Punchkins or something. Oh, this is a really cute. It's a really nicely made little plushie. So cute. Oh, found another little mint. Oh my gosh. And then up next from Magnolia Lane, we have little dip bowls <gasps> and there's two ones. There's skinny dip or chunky dunk. Excuse me. They're so cute. That's what they say on them. They kind of like this, like wavy material they feel really nice and hefty like really nice quality so you can put like a little like little dips in them you could do like a chunky salsa there and like a queso there or something like i don't know they feel really nice and like heavy and hefty and really really nicely made these are microwave and dishwasher safe so really really cute little dip bowls all right and that is everything in this month's silver swag box for their little taco tuesday theme this was Fun. This is very like Taco Tuesday fun. I, if you're not really into like tacos, maybe not your favorite theme, but I still think it was fun. Like there are definitely things in here like that you can use. Like obviously there's a taco plushie, but like this, the marshmallows can be used for anything. This kind of probably is like a taco seasoning, but is not a taco. Um, and I just, oh, this was really, really fun. So definitely let me know your thoughts down below on this box. And again, I do have that $15 off coupon code. All right, up next, let's dive into the Simply Earth box for April of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar, familiar with Simply Earth. They are a monthly essential oils and recipe subscriptions where each month you get recipes with essential oils and then some other added things to help make a cleaner, 
home environment. And actually, April's theme is cleaning, so I'm assuming we're gonna get some cleaning products inside. It makes these essential oils easy to use. You can make these products with these recipes, and you get access to these essential oil hero courses to learn more on how to do it. The box is $44.99 a month. Um, the April box has a value of $116.95. Now, this was sent to me free for review, and I do have a coupon code down below where if you sign up with my code, you get a free $45 gift card. Now that's not a discount on this box, but it is a gift card that you can use in the store, in their Simply Earth store afterwards. Um, and you will get an email after you sign up with that um, gift card code. Another nice thing is that 13% of the profits go to ending human trafficking, which I really like. Each month they have like a featured like place that they're giving that money to help end human trafficking, which will be on one of the back of the cards. So we'll get to be able to learn more about that. So you get the monthly kit each month. When you sign up the first time, you do get a big bonus box, which comes with some extra supplies. And I think they replenish that every, is it six months? I could be wrong, but you do get that big bucks, big, big bucks, big box replenished so that you get some of the extra things like some bottles or wax or things, carrier oils and things like that. All right, so let's dive in. Oh, when you open up the box, uh, that is what it looks like. On top, it has a little card that goes over the month's theme. Um, so it says cleaning zero to hero. So you get, you earned a badge cleaning hero for the month. It looks like they have some really fun things coming to the store soon. So again, if you get that $45 gift card, gift card, you could use them on multi-purpose cleaning tabs, which you can already get today. They have a Swedish disc cloth coming on May 3rd. You, we do get one in the box as well. So talk about that in a second. Laundry determined sheets that are coming, detergent sheets that are coming on May 3rd and dishwasher tabs coming on May 3rd. Now I love these Swedish disc cloths and this one's really pretty with the lemons. It's a different texture from some of the other ones that I've used before, but I'm really excited because I genuinely really love the Swedish dish cloths. Once you get them wet, they turn into like a dishcloth and you can wash them in the washing machine, which is great. I'd have never put them in the dryer. Wouldn't recommend putting them in the dryer, but really nice. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, we did also get a um, laundry detergent sheets, two of them. Okay, very, very cool. I got some other stuff in here too. Give me a second. I think we got a dishwasher tab sample as well. So yeah, we got lo two laundry detergent sheets here. Do they smell? I'm curious if they're scented. No, they don't smell at all. So nice little laundry detergent sheets. And then we also got a dishwasher tab as well. I don't know why I'm smelling this. Um, they are fragrance free, which is nice. So a nice little thing there as a little extra. I don't know. We'll see if there's recipes that involve these things or if they're just in there to try. Then some of the other supplies that you get, you get 100% pure Castile soap. The essential oils that you get is black pepper essential oil. This one's in five milliliters. It does tell you um, like the plant part that it comes from, the origin, ingredients, aroma, and then what this one's child safe with two plus years. You get more information too on the cards that we'll get into. Then we have orange essential oil. This is a 15 milliliter. This is sweet and citrusy. Origin is Italy. We have a clean and fresh essential oil blend. Um, so this has fir needle, neroli, lemon, and grapefruit essential oils. And then last but not least, we get a home body essential oil, which has Howood, Amaris, Copaiba, vetiver essential oils as well. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this is my favorite thing. You get a little sticker sheet. And on that sticker sheet, you get lots of stickers to help you make little the, the, the little things that you're gonna make. So you got like these right here. So you can put the little dot on top of the essential oil bottle. Um, so you take the orange one and you put it on top. That way, I know some people store their essential oils in like a box where all you see is the top lids. So you have those little things there to put on your essential oils. Um, there may be some, I'm guessing there's gonna be recipe cards where we make some. In that big bonus box, you do get like empty essential essential oil bottles that you can um, make like a, the blends. And then you get other stickers that you can use um, to like, there's a roll on blend. So if you get the roller bottle, which also comes in that big box that you get, you can stick that sticker on it, which is so fun. Cause you like make your own product. And then with some of the things that you make, you can put the date on it as well, the date that you made it. And then you get that cleaning hero little badge as well. Then the recipe cards. So what do we have to make this month? There is a dish tab oven cleaner. Ah, okay, so that's why we got a dishwasher tab. Okay, that's really, really cool. So nice little oven cleaner. Honestly, I need that. I need to clean my oven, but I don't really know how to clean an oven. So I'm really excited because I will be making this. If you don't want to make a dish tab for the oven cleaner or whatever, you could just use this as a dishwasher tablet as is just to try it out and see if you like it before buying the dishwasher tabs that come out on May 3rd. So that's a um, great option as well. So it tells you what you got from your box, what you need from your home. So for this one, you need about eight ounces of hot water and gloves. Um, it tells you how long it, it 
takes. So two minutes um, to make and then the instructions on how to make it. The next one is home body foaming hand soap. Ooh, okay. So that's where you would need the Castile soap and then you would take that home body scent. Um, and then it also tells you what you need. So you need a foaming hand dispenser at home, distilled water, and um, GeoGuard ECT preservative. So there's some things that you need to have, but a lot of the stuff does come in the box. This takes two minutes, it tells you how much it yields. So about 4.5 fluid ounces and then the dilution rate. So all the instructions there. Then on the back of this card, it does go over all of the oils that you get and tells you more about pet safety. So I always say this with all my subscription boxes, do your research before using essential oils around pets because different oils and different like capacities of oil. So whether it's direct contact and, and diffused in the air and just all that kind of stuff can have different effects. Now here they only talk about dogs and cats. So if you have other pets, more exotic pets, make sure you're doing your research on that. Um, it also tells you how, where it's um, skin, uh, kid safe, excuse me, or, or whether or not it's pregnancy safe. Um, so it tells you all of that for each of the essential oils on the back, which I really like. It also tells you like um, it's diluted, dilute before using on skin, kid safe two plus years. So it gives some like really um, specific instructions and it says the, the uses. So for like home body, it helps calm. For orange, it uplifts, aids digestion and soothes and cleanses but that one's not cat safe, this, that, and the other. So you get to learn a lot more about the oils. Then there is the clean and fresh dish soap. Um, so you use some of the Castile soap. This one actually you have everything in your box and you actually use the container of this. So you probably wanna use, do the other recipe first and then use this cause you only need one tablespoon of the Castile soap for this. Um, it does mention the Swedish dish cloth in here. Um, so you can use the Swedish disc cloth with this recipe. Then there's the up and atom roll on blend. Again, this one takes another just two minutes and everything that you need is in the box. Oh, and it does talk about how like these are new products that are out and they feature them in the box, which I think is really fun. And I actually love the fact that the April theme is cleaning cause it's like spring cleaning time to like clean everything up. Then there is the one, two, three laundry sheet. So we have these little laundry detergent sheets here and a recipe for those. So you can put the clean and fresh essential oil on them if you want them to as a scent. So there's a card for that. Again, if you want them to be, if you don't like scent, then you can go without the scent for those just as is just to test them out. And then we have the spice and span diffuser blend. Everything that you need is in the box for this one. So just a nice little oil diffuser blend there. So that is everything that you get in the Simply Earth um, essential oils box for April. I just love these. It's so fun. You get to DIY and make like cleaning or like one month of like, skincare. Like you get to make all this stuff yourself, which is just so fun. And you get pretty much everything that you need. And I'm going to be honest, the sticker thing is like my favorite part of this. I am obsessed with the stickers. They're so fun. Um, so if you're somebody who's looking to like have a cleaner product, um, you want to learn how to use essential oils more, you like to DIY, this box is for you. Again, I do have that coupon code down below where you can get that $45 gift card if you sign up for the subscription. So I'll leave that down below. Let me know your thoughts down in the description box below on this box as well. What did you think of the April theme? All right, up next, let's dive into the journal junk box for April of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the journal junk box, this is a monthly like stationary subscription that also has like cute little office things and gadgets as well. Um, this box is $44 and 95 cents a month. I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 15% off your box. Sometimes I get the mini subscription, their journal junk sack as well, but today I just have their journal junk box to share with you guys. When you open up the box, that is what it looks like. Ooh, April's theme is ever growing. It looks very floral. I wonder if this is going to be like a floral, like greenery type box. On the back, it does go over all the products inside and the retail value. And then it does have the April journal journal prompts. So it comes with a journal prompts with, for each month of the, excuse me, for each week of the month. So one of them, for example, is what are 10 things I'm grateful for? Oh, okay. Well, the first thing that I'm pulling out is really cute. This is actually a tote bag. This is the flower market reusable tote for $6.99. It says always fresh flower market seeds, blue, bulbs, blooms, open daily, locally grown. So the inside like flap of it has all the flowers and the front has that. And then inside it's just a big open thing with blue straps. I wonder how big it is at the bottom. It looks like it's pretty big. Okay. So it's like that big. So it can store a lot of stuff. So if you're somebody who needs like, this is a great reusable grocery bag, a farmer's market bag would be really cute. Or if you actually want to like get fresh flowers, like you can totally do that. So a nice little, whoops, 
reusable tote bag. Ooh, up next we have some washi tape. This is the Painted Wildflowers washi tape set by Carol Scheiber slash Paper House, which retails for $4.99. So there's two here. There's a really thin one, a pink one there, and then these others. It's not gonna focus, but it's really pretty and floral. This one has like gold foiling on it. Um, I'm actually excited to get some more washi tape. I am so in the Become by Ellen box, there was some diamond painting. I'm hooked. So I went ahead and ordered like a bigger diamond painting thing, but you use what you can use washi tape to like help with the borders or to hold down things. So I'm really excited to get some washi tape to use in my diamond painting. Uh, I'm like in my diamond painting era, who else likes diamond painting? And do you recommend like, if you're into diamond painting, like which companies do you recommend like purchasing from? I don't know. Love to hear your thoughts down below if you're into that, but a little two rolls of washi tape. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this here. This is Global Garden Emery Board Set of Three by Lady Jane, which retails for $5. So these are nail file kits, which is super fun. I don't, I can't, nail filing is like, like, nail on chalkboard for me so i probably put these in a future giveaway um but these look really really cute and fun with a beautiful floral pattern all right we've got a box oh and we've got a little magnet set in here one of them's upside down so i apologize that's my fault it was like flipped over and i like hit it and then it went upside down so this is the spread the love magnet set of four or the encourage magnet set i think i have the encourage magnet set i would guess um a four and this retails for 950 these are like hefty little magnets i love the like floralness on them and i love the like kind words on them so it's be light be kind be love be brave and these are heavy duty glass magnets very nice okay up next we have the journal for the month and it's so cute look at that beautiful bright floral pattern this is the spring flowers hardcover cover spiral journal which retails for $12.99 um you've got the beautiful gold coiling it is gold foiled in like the flowers which is so pretty it's like and it's not like hard cover, it's like medium cover. I don't know how to describe that. You've got a nice little yellow elastic in there. And then it's just, I'm assuming, all lined papers like that. So a beautiful, fun, bright spring journal. Up next, we have this here. This is the die cut floral notepad and pen by Lady Jane, which retails for $7. This is so fun. I love this because I like need to make like lists and this I love things like this for making lists but this one's just so fun with the floral and then you've got this beautiful like golden white pen that you can write on it with this is also really cute uh, like a really cute like gift that you could give to somebody too if you wanted to um this is have 75 sheets in it so super duper cute with a floral print for spring Ooh, up next we have a little sticker set this is the antique garden sticker book of 197 by k and company which retails for 5.99 <gasps> oh these are just like really pretty lots of gold foiling obviously every page looks a little bit different um i'm like there we go of these like antique spring Oh, these are so pretty for like journaling, scrapbooking. This is such a beautiful little, little, little thing. And it does have eight sheets and then 197 stickers in it. All right, up next we have a little greeting card. This is the Flower Teacup Greeting Card and Envelope by Graphique, which retails for $3.95. It says, thinking of you. It's like a get well card, but it could be anything. Oh, it's got little sparkles on the flowers. I don't know if that'll come across on camera. And then on the inside, it does have some writing. It does say, I just want to let you know that I'm thinking and I hope, uh, thinking of you and I hope you're doing well. Very, very cute. Comes with a bright yellow envelope. And one nice thing that it also comes with is this little gold seal that you can stick on the back of the envelope, which is a nice touch. And then last but not least, we have a little free gift in the box. This is the All Things Grow With Love Wildflower Seed Packet. This is a free gift. Um, does it say, it says, um, it has pink cosmos, sweet peas, clovers, zinnias, and more in bloom. Ooh, it's a pink, it's a pink wildflower seed mix. <gasps> very, very fun. All right, and that is everything in the journal junk box for April. I love the like floral theme. It's perfect for spring. So many cute and beautiful, fun things in this box. Again, I do have that 15% off code down below in case you're interested in signing up. 
And last but not least, let's jump into the Go Jewelry subscriptions for April. Like I said, we have the Mother Earth Wrap Club and the Manifestation Box. Now I do have a coupon code where you can get 20% off either of these boxes, so I'll leave that down below. But the first one we'll jump into is the Wrap Club. This is $39 a month, actually, both of these boxes are. And each month you receive a healing crystal wrap bracelet, and then usually there's an extra thing in here as well. Okay, so we're gonna start, you get the little jewelry piece, but then we get this, which is the extra gift this month, which is really fun. I think last month it was a sheet mask. This one, it says, let the adventure begin. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a little trip book. <gasps> oh, it has like a little introduction inside, the places I've been. It gives you oh, travel savings, all that kind of stuff. The trip overview with the budget, things to pack. Oh, this is so fun. It gives you multiple like trips to pack for and things like that. And then you can put little adventure stories in the back of it and your adventures. I'm, I feel like I'm holding that over here. I feel like I wasn't really showing it, but it's a really fun. Oh, you can do little playlists, adventure stories. A really, really fun. This is hardcover little adventure book. Oh, I love that. Especially nice. It's spring and I feel like you kind of start to get more into travel in the spring and summertime. So very, very nice. And then the wrap bracelet will be in here. And I will say that all of the jewelry in either of these subscription is handmade by the owner, Sylvia. So everything you get in here is handmade, which I love. This is the bracelet this month. Really pretty greens. It always has like a little ding, or that usually has, I don't know always, but it has a little dangly jewel there. So there it is. So you do get some cards on the gemstones and their meaning. So I'll read more here. Whoops. And there's fluff from the thing. So let me get that off. Okay. So let's read more. So there is the Prionite, which assists in dealing with feelings of unrest during times of constant change. And we're kind of changing through seasons. So I think that's the smaller beads. Now the other subscription will have like a beaded bracelet, but it doesn't have the small ones. And this wrap bracelet, if you're not into wrap bracelets, but you're into necklaces can be worn as a necklace. Um, so this is a stone of transformation. And then the, here we have on the bottom thing here, we have green spot Jasper, which is a stone of balance and healing and is also known as the Supreme nurturer. It will center, center ground and stabilize your energies, which is really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful. I love these. These are just so nice. It feels really good in the hand. Um, again, it's, everything is handmade and I love like going through the cheese seasons of change and it's kind of there to help you through that. So that is the Mother Earth Wrap Club. And then we have the Manifestation Box. So this one is also $39 a month, but this is kind of like a crystal self-help type of subscription. Um, so this comes with a personalized gemstone bracelet, necklace, healing crystal, two meditation cards, and an astrology forecast inside. Okay, the stickers she's been putting on, these are so cute. Let's take time to chill. It's a little puffed up sticker too. It's so cute. All right, so in this box, you get a little bit of paperwork along with the jewelry. So first of all, you get the two meditation cards. Keep one for yourself, give one to somebody else. So this one says, if you do not like where you are, move. You are not a tree, Jim Rohn. Really, really nice. This, this one's actually a really, really good reminder. I think I might bring this one and like put this by my desk. Um, so you can keep one and then give someone to someone else as a little message. Then she always has a theme for the month that she writes about. So for this one, it says, find your purpose in life and be true to it. Um, and it talks more there. It's really nice paper this month. Um, I'll read a little bit about it just so you kind of get the vibe. I won't read the whole thing, but it says in quotes, I wish I could be like fill in the blank. How many times have we looked at someone else and wished we had their life? We are constantly exposed to the ways of others, their happy moments, and their ideal lives, and we may end up believing that theirs is better than ours. The reality is that unless we find our way and keep thinking about somebody else's practices, we may end up living their plan instead of ours. Um, and unfortunately, they don't have much planned for us. Um, so it goes more into that, which I think is a really, really great theme, and I can't wait to read more about that. Then you get your astrology forecast for the month. So I am a Scorpio. Mine is a Scorpio. If you have a different star sign, then that would be what you get. These are prepared by the celebrity astrologer, Kyle Thomas. I'll read like a sentence so you get the vibe, but I won't read the whole thing because we'd be here forever. But it just say, embrace your passion, desire, and innate sense of hope in April, 2023. We have a rather, rather wild month ahead of us, particularly as we enter the eclipse season, the time of the year where the destiny shifts before our feet like sand upon a beach through our toes as the ocean crashes in. Expect a surge of electrical energy to crackle through the air and a vibrant lightning to ignite within your spirit. Also, this is the last month where we have a period in time free of retrograde planetary energy. So be sure to get everything you can launched, tied up, 
or in motion prior to April 21st. So it goes so much more. Obviously this one is gonna be specific to Scorpio. So if you're a different star sign, you would get that in your box. And then we've got the goodies in here as well, the jewelry goodies. So I'm gonna start with a little bag. You get your gemstone and your bracelet inside. So we will start with a little bracelet. So as we saw in the other, on the other bracelet, there was that spotted, green spotted Jasper. This one features it as a main stone where the other one had it as like a little added bonus. So again, this is a stone of balance and healing is known for the supreme nurturer. And then you also have some lava stone on this as well, um, which is excellent for calming emotions thanks to its grounding qualities and is formed from cooling magma. Um, it's thought to symbolize rebirth and aid in releasing emotional baggage. Um, you can put aromatherapy oils on the lava stone as well. So that is a nice crystal bracelet. And then the like gemstone of the month is this. It's hematite, which has an excellent grounding and balancing energy, as well as being a powerful aid to stimulate the mind. They enhance memory and evoke deep thought. So it's really full. It feels like, it's like almost like a marble, like a big marble, but it's not. It's obviously a stone. It's really, really nice. And then the necklace is always in the box. Ooh, this one is cool. So it comes on a silver chain. The chain is on the back, but we got a really big, like gemstone on here and it is that green spot jasper again which i feel like is the stone of the month um, because of that balance and healing that it brings and will help ground and stabilize the energies um so you'll remain unpretentious by the chaos that's happening in the world and i feel like yes there's a lot of chaos happening in the world right now so something like this is great a really beautiful big gemstone it's very detailed and beautiful very very nice so that is everything in the manifestation box and then also the wrap club again i do have that 20 percent off coupon code for either of the subscription boxes so i'll leave that down in the description box below but again would love your hear your thoughts on those boxes and in fact that is everything in this week's subscription box sunday but before we dive into favorite box and favorite product let me talk more about the giveaway so the giveaway will be open until april 8th at midnight Eastern. There will be a link down in the description box where you can enter. You do have to be subscribed to my channel and live in the US or Canada in order to win. There's always an extra entry if you go over to my Instagram page. So again, go to the link, the Gleam link, and you can do it all through there by commenting on the video. It is not an entry. Again, um, there will be lots of scammers that reach out and comment on people's things. So please be wary of scammers. The only way I will contact the winner is through subbookslover at yahoo.com. And I won't do it until Sunday, April 9th. Sometimes I forget on the Sunday and it'll be Monday, April 10th. <laughs> uh, so check both days, check your email if you do enter to win below. Um, I do have four giveaway boxes below. Maybe I'll have five by then. So there will be four to five winners. It's just an each box has an assortment of things that I've gotten in boxes that I don't keep. So s anything from skincare, makeup, beauty, home decor, anything that I've gotten in boxes that I can't, I can't use it all, right? So it ends up in these subscriptions. So again, um, it will be open through April 8th at midnight Eastern. You enter through the link below. You do have to be subscribed to my channel and live in the US or Canada in order to win. Please be wary of scammers. Sometimes I have people reach out to me where someone reached out to them and they're like, hey, I, I won the subscription, like the giveaway, I mean. And I'm like, the giveaway isn't even closed yet. So just like if you're someone's reaching out to you before the subscription, I don't reach out until the giveaway is closed and it's the subbox over at yahoo.com email address. Um, so good luck to everyone that enters. Now let's talk about favorite box and favorite product. Favorite box is gonna be Stranger's Guide. I know it's a new one to my channel and it's a little pricey, but like I just, I'm so intrigued. I cannot wait to read more of their guides and try out these cool products that I've never been able to try before. So I'm just so excited by that. Favorite product might be like that Ukraine guide because I'm just really, I wanna learn more about that. But I'm gonna be all honest that um, Taco Pasta Kit <laughs> in the silver swag box is uh, speaking to me too. But let me know yours down below. What did you, what is your favorite box? What is your favorite product? I always love to hear those down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.